Oh, I got to I got to get my gel medium now onto this white here. You see it sticks better. Okay. So now that I got that done, I want to use the same brush, which is a little tiny, tiny brush. I got to go from the lightest light to the darkest dark for the eye and the rest of the detail of the mouse. So because this is a, a decor piece, I'm not going to put very much detail into any of it. I'm looking at this here and I like I like these things. Now they're just an indication that I haven't brought the background in enough, but I kind of it kind of looks like hair. Like like he's got hair. And I'm almost thinking just leave it alone. Okay, what I'm going to do is finish up the background next. Um, and again, it's got to be dark enough where I can put some snowflakes on it. And the snowflakes are just going to be a suggestion. So let's get in here. And maybe that could even be a more neutral, more neutralized back there. I'm going to leave that alone and let's get in here. All right, so now I'm going to try to make some snowflakes. See, it's just a very light suggestion of a snowflake. And of course, we don't want all of them to be the same. Okay. The other thing I could do, and I, and I may do this, is just flick some color, the lighter color on this. But let me put these in, because I can always take them out. And of course, the more I do this, the better my, um, my touch is on it. You know, I've got to have a super light touch. Okay, so let me just try flicking the color and see which one I like better. 
Okay, so I am mixing this same white with a whole lot of medium. And I'm going to come in this angle here. Well, and just try flicking the color. It went more on my... Oh, I got it on the mouse! Ah! It, it, I'm going to have to make it work here. Yeah, see, I like that better. And we're going to get busy with flicking our... There's not enough on there. Oop. <laughs> That's too much. All right, so let me clean off the brush because I got it full of white everywhere. I'm just glad it's not Napsol Red or Thalo Blue. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to adjust that. All right, so I actually think this is getting close to being finished. Um, this here, even though I like it, it would stop somebody from buying it. They would think that there's a mistake there, so I have to fix it. Got to get more. I think I'll put some gel medium as I try to fix this. Yeah, that's working better. Some of the fun stuff can happen. One being detailing the nose a little bit. So because the light, again, is coming from the left, I'd want the nose to be having a highlight. Okay, and I'm going to get my gel medium for that. And I'm just going to See, that's that's a highlight, but it's not a highlight that's strong enough. So, I'll get some more gel medium and a little bit lighter. Okay, so that looks better. And, and, and probably what would help also is if I just came in here just a tad darker way right through here. I know I want to work a little bit more on the scarf. And let's see, we'll have to get uh, more of a cast shadow area on the scarf. I'd like to have this being further away and I could actually grab some of this green and make that happen. See that looks better. I don't want it to, to be too, too detailed, and I don't want that to happen with this mouse. I'm going to have a variety of styles for people to look at. Some people will like the super detailed. Some people will like more of a suggestive. So I want to have some of each. Okay, I'm going to need my medium for that. It didn't take. 
There we go. I want the thumbs to look like they're there. May work a little bit more on these boots here, the boot part of the skate. I'm probably going to need the gel medium. Okay, I like I've that. heard it said, I don't know how much I believe it, but the last thing you paint is the first thing the viewer sees. I've read it. And I want the first thing that the viewer sees being the mouse. And so I'm going to actually just try to... Okay, he's done. Time to sign my name.